Good morning to you all my subscribers at Princey Seats channel. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. Rev. Ngwaha Chukwu addresses the Grant community. Please pay attention to him. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning my distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies. It has become so important again that I must come your way today. A lot of people say just wait, don't talk. But the more you keep quiet, a lot of things keep on spoiling in the grand community. So we must, by the grace of God, let people understand some things. No matter how some people will understand it, anything you like, you do, your enemy must talk against you. That is just the simple truth. But those that will listen and understand should go ahead and understand. Those that will insult should go ahead and insult themselves. Any seed a man so that he must reap. By the grace of God, today is the 17th day of July 2023. I'm coming your way. I remain Reverend Gwarachuku. Because of the recent happenings and the voice note I began to hear, I was shocked. I was shocked. And I was asking myself, who bewitched us in this country that matured people has no more sense to think? You see, matured people has no more sense to think. Eh? How can somebody now in all this thing that is happening will come out to tell you that you philosophy, Loche Boy, Tuba Global Foundation has grant to this boss? while he has said it. You, you people had it, you heard from Oscar Daoud, and he said, go there by yourself in the FCC to go and verify. But he said, he has no grant. And these people now came up to now say that Tuflos has grant him this boss. I am just surprised. Who should that grant he want to this boss? Who should that grant? The one he will source. Eh? What is actually wrong with us in this grand community? Now, let me let every one of you know, especially my friends. Anybody you hear saying that your flaws, Tuba Global Foundation has grant to this boss, that person is saying that thing because of the money he collected. Because of the money he want to collect. Because they will keep on collecting, saying they will disburse today and tomorrow. So uh, uh, they will charge you a disbursement fee, flag of fee. They will put anything there and say it out. So that you will bring money. That is the only, that is only what is playing out. We have, uh, we had uh, uh, an information that a uh, 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 gotcha is nothing for grant. Good luck. But let us not attribute it to you. You see, I cannot go to source for grant. And another person will say he's the one that owns it. Eh? Even if a goche say to you, we disburse it. A goche is the one that sourced it. They just know the truth. So if they are collecting the money again from a goche's own uh, uh, grant that is sourced, let's, let us know. Whosoever want to spend his money paying for grant, that one consign him. For now. But mind you, there is grant seriously in this country. We knows about it. Yes. So this thing just pissed me off. I stand by the authority that the Lord has given to me to cast out every spell that have been cast against the poor masses in this country about Cuba Global Foundation Grant. May such spell get off out of anybody's eye in the name of Jesus. Amen. Their spell, their anything against people, against the poor masses will no longer work in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, I said it. I said it because they refused to pay heed 
so that we'll discuss and tell them what God said we should do. So as to bring all these things to an end. He, Teoflos, refused to call me. I kept quiet. And that 14 days elapsed. Only him will testify what is coming on him since that time. It has not ended, though. His case has not ended. For now. Because uh, EFC has not told us the case has ended. So it has not ended. You see, how can you become such liars? You know you don't have grants. And you are collecting money saying that you have mandate. You have grant to divorce. 50 to 50. What is all these things? And after all these things that you flows went through in the grant community, after all these things that you flows went through in ELCC hand, somebody still come up to talk that you have money. What is, what is wrong? What type of, may that spell be loosed out of such people's uh, I, in the name of Jesus. May they recover themselves in the name of Jesus because they are the handmaid of God. God will not allow his handmaid that knows nothing to perish. You see? That is number one. Number two, please, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to do some analysis. I stand this moment to let everyone know about this grand last grand last grand last listen to us carefully they are talking about you uh, your flaws talking about joseph and talking about apostle care let's just dissect it let's just think about it two flaws said he has grant from every indication his name is not in the document but he said he has grant. For crying out loud, he has grant since five years, he has not divorced. What is holding him? Because his name was not there. His name is not there. That is the truth of the matter. From every indication, from every angle, from what is happening around, his name is not there. Why will he now want to divorce a grand that his name is not there? Okay, if it is possible like that, divorce everybody, let everybody go their way. But because his name is not there and it's, it's not possible for him to divorce it, that is why he has not divorced for a long time. So people should remove mine from pure flaws. He has calmed us, let him face his music. To Joseph Hart. Joseph Hart is claiming that he is the husband to Mama Rita. No doubt about it. I have had it. I don't know anything that transpired in their private life. It doesn't concern me. I don't like coming up on air to talk about price, someone's privacy, no matter what you do. Why must I, I, I talk about it? Everything concerns God. But let's just talk about it. He said, he, he didn't say his name is in the document, so, but he said he's the rightful person to do that because his wife brought the, the his wife was a grand. Now, if that is true, everybody should understand that this thing is not matter rough the way you want it, but it's just about documentation. He has not said that his name is in the document. So. He has not said it. I had that they even in the uh, uh, um, Mama Rita's uh, NGO. It's his son, a son. The son of Mama Rita is the next of kin. But if you know he has the power that he is the rightful person to disburse the thing, there is no need of making case, letting go and disburse. Nobody worries him. But if he know that his name, this is not family affair, this is documentation. And he knows, he knows, he has never even come out to say that his name is in the document. We have not heard that his name is in the document. Why is he disturbing again? Let there be peace in this grand community so that the masses will not uh, uh, continue to suffer like this. Yeah? His name is not there in the documents of disbursement. We are not talking about the documents of Senrita. We're talking about the documents of the disbursement of the money called UAAG. 
Now, whose name is there? From every indication, from every testimony, is Apostle Ken's name. Then what is happening? What is wrong about that? What is wrong about that? Everybody knows from every angle is Apostle Ken's name. Why are they now fighting him? Eh? Why are they now fighting him? Yeah, sorry, I was interrupted. So as I was saying, anybody that is fighting Apostle Ken simply does not want that grant to be disbursed. That is the simple truth. That is the simple truth. You heard that somebody's name is there. And you are fighting that person. Simply means they want the masses to continue suffering. They don't want that money to be disbursed. And, and uh, in fact, it baffles me. Of course, it baffles me. It baffles me so much in this country. So, sorry, it's, there are some interruptions. So, as I'm saying, please, my distinguished uh, people, let us just think about this. Let us think about all these things. Eh? And pray against anybody that is causing confusion in this uh, grant not to be disbursed by the rightful person. Everybody need to stand up now and begin to pray against all of them. Why must they be causing confusion in a good thing that is coming to the poor masses? What is wrong in the head of some people in this country? So we are looking upon Apostle Ken. God will help him and every all these obstacles will be surmounted and he will do the needful three there is something i want us to understand so that we will not be making a lot of mistakes and that thing is about grand handlers grand handlers please let me tell us in this life and in this struggle since this struggle starts Apostle Ken is not a grand handler. Anything we are doing to grand handler, Apostle Ken is not a grand handler. As long as the UAAG is concerned, he's not a grand handler. I stand to be corrected. Come and tell me how he becomes a grand handler in UAAG. Grand handler simply means he that goes out and sources for the money. Say he has grant, he has sourced. He want to disburse. He start collecting money from people. Collecting money does not even matter. If you collect money from us and you give us the grant, you promise, we don't care. If this money is dis disbursed today, everybody will go in and feel happy. All this trouble in this community, in this country today, in the grant community, is because the money has not been disbursed. It's not because of the money we spent, but because the money has not been disbursed. But I want to put this thing straight. That Apostle Ken is not a grand handler. Please, ladies and gentlemen, Apostle Ken has not gone out before to source for grant. And he has never called anybody, please, I have grant. Or I want to go and source for grant. Please, may we all understand it. If he says, like, come, let us talk about it. Mama Beatrice went and sourced for grant. Do you say he went and sourced for grant? Have the mandate to disburse. Aposke has not come out one day and said he went and sourced for grant that he has a grant to disburse. No, he has his grant he sourced to disburse. Please, I want us to see it officially that God purposely want Aposke to disburse a grant called UAAG. Even when he don't even when he's not aware, when he don't even know anything that is happening, this is a call that God said, "Who will I send? Who will I use?" He decided to use him. That God decided to use him to disburse UAG money does not mean he's a grandler. He's not a grandler. If he come down and tell me he's a grandler, I say no, I will get it. He's not a grandler, so we should stop putting him among the grandlers. Please, anybody that is called up for any grandler should desist. But there is a grant called you that Apostle with his boss. His God just gave him that favor. 
and this woman put his name, you will join me to dissolve this grant. Does that make him a grand law? Has he gone before to source for grant? The answer is no. So please, everybody should remove a postcard from being a grand law. He's not a grand law. But God called him and gave him that grant there that my son, you are the one that will dispose it. That is why nobody will dispose that money. And nobody will be able to kill. There is no need. But how can somebody think of killing somebody that God wants to use in giving us a blessing? What is all this type of thing? How can somebody even think it? How can somebody even think such? Eh? We had when they said they want to kill a person. For what? Because God said, come, you will disburse this money. When he don't even know. Mamarita went and saw for grand put his name. Eh? And put the name of the son as the name of king to her. And put the name of Apostle King to the UAG for disbursement. What is all these things? And somebody will stand up today to say he should die. So that the money will be lost. Nobody will disburse it. Or another person that cannot die will not come to disburse it. What is all these things? Please, this is a call that God called this man. He might not be righteous. He might not be holy. He does not consign me. He does not consign anybody. What matters is that God has chosen him. Nobody knows. He himself don't even know that this thing will happen like this. I know when I was speaking out of the revelation and called him out. I called him out. He was also a, 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 a subscriber to Teoflos. What are people telling me now? Because God said he is. He is the person, the rightful person he God wants to dissolve this money. And people will come to call him grand. Apostle Ken is not a grand. I cannot keep on keeping quiet. Yeah? For a lot of insults that people are giving to him. Because God chose him. Please, we should from today be addressing him as person that God chose to dissolve that money. It does not matter whatsoever transpire. But you said. He has grant he sourced. He has grant to disburse. Although today, now, that time before all of us started uh, suffering ourselves, uh, paying a lot of money. He said, yes, he has mandate. He may say that, did I say I went to source for grant? But I have mandate. You, are you sure that that mandate, the original, that original mandate is your name? Say the truth. Just say the truth. You want to tell me that the original mandate is your name? Bring it out and tell us and go ahead and discuss. Nobody will bother you. But if you know it's not the original one that the doctor did, you better retreat your step. Although, I don't know. If God has given you a second chance, I don't know about that. So I don't want to talk about that so much. What I want to say is, Please, everybody should understand it. Apostle Ken is just a God sent. Mama Rita don't even know why he put Apostle Ken. It's out of trust. Many people is saying a lot of things. He's not with his bad person. Why did that woman? He might be bad to you, but he's not bad to that woman. He can never be bad to that woman. That woman will put his name. Ah, what is all this thing? You see? So no matter what transpired, God has destined it that by this time, Apostle Ken will disburse one money, grant money. Everybody need to give him support. We should stop insulting him. He did us nothing. We say, what did he defraud? What did he defraud? That in the course of this call that God called him, he now said, please support us financially so that we will do one or two things. In pursuant to this, to bring it to pass. Is it a crime? It's a support. He never said, I have a grant. Every NGO must, must pay uh, 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 500,000, 250. No, he didn't say it. Everything is called of support. Everybody know that when this thing started and when they gave him the authority, go ahead and make broadcast about UAAG, he came up and said openly, please, nobody should register UAAG with one naira, that it is totally free. That is why I have been saying it, all these people that is collecting money from Bondo, 
bundle heads. Do you know how many cluster that will be given to you? Do you know how many money of cluster that will be given to you? I've been saying it. I've been saying it. You see? So that you will not bite more than what you can shoot. He said it. Free. Every other thing is support. How do you now support somebody? You come to attack that person. Support is not by force. That's only what he has uh, done. But everybody knows that you mandated everybody or the angel must pay 500,000. Yes, 250 from the smaller NGO. We don't know how much the mother NGO and the father NGOs pay. We know, we know. So please, I just want to bring correct this impression. When we are dealing with gun handlers, Aposken will not be there. Everybody knows it. But just he has a call to pass through him to give the masses this grant. That is just the simple truth. It's not a crime. Everybody, that is why we are supporting him until he succeeds. See, he must succeed. No matter what the enemy will do, he must succeed. He must succeed. And nothing, no evil will befall him that will prosper. No weapon that will fall, him, uh, that will fall upon him or uh, uh, talk against him that will prosper. Because anybody that is doing that is automatically trying to deprive us the blessings of God. Somebody say anybody can disburse the money. If anybody can disburse the money, please go ahead and disburse the money. Let us see. Let us see. Apostle himself is not even inquisitive of all these things we are saying. Even the call, the call to do this thing is even a burden to him. It's a burden to him. Serious burden. You see? Had it been, he know that it will be like this. He would not even like to even answer that call. He say, please don't put my name. Yeah? Because somebody is suffering in what he did not know. What he did not know. And everybody is calling him names. It's only God that will judge anybody that calls him bad name. Only God will judge that person. And they see the man so that he will reap. So that is the major thing I want to tell my friends in this grand community. Finally, I want to also advise you, be patient. Don't run out of patience to kill yourself. Every journey of life has an end. Anything that has a beginning must surely have an end. It will end in praise one day. It will end in praise. Let us just calm down. Let us just calm down. I'm saying this based on my own, the way I'm led to say it. Yes. So please, let's calm down. Something good is happening somewhere. Although in the course, we have fallen into the hands of a lot of scammers. Abuja boys. Yes, but in every situation, God has a way to vindicate his people, to give his people uh, victory. If this road closes, God opens another road. So God is faithful to us. We must get this, this grant. And thank God for what I'm hearing about the government of the day. I'm happy. I'm happy that they want good things to happen. And if God used them to do these good things, we we'll tell everybody, please, let this good thing stand. We we'll tell everybody, let this good thing stand. Because the good thing that will happen to us in this country is that the poor masses is elevated from being poor. And they have the ability to feed themselves. Not begging much. Even not everybody that will be rich. But it will increase. Riches will increase. And poor will decrease. Poverty will decrease. That's what, what we are saying. So may God help the government of this day to help us and fast track this disbursement. We all will be glad and we'll know what we we'll talk about them. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. May the good Lord keep on protecting us. We will never die untimely. A lot of people have died. Please, if you are called by God, that is quite different, than you are killing yourself because of this, because of the delay. Nobody knows that it will stay up to today. Nobody knows. We don't know that it will stay up to today. 
For that reason, we shouldn't kill ourselves. Have the shock to absorb all this thing that is happening. Later, we all have a cause to rejoice. We know what is happening. And we are still in the right track. May God keep us. Keep our government. Keep Apostle Ken for us. Keep our ground for us. And it will be disbursed to all. Shortly. And we all will be happy. And everybody will go their way. Thank you. And God bless you. I remain your humble friend. Reverend Gwachuku. Saying goodbye. Until we meet again. Remain blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for watching to the end. You are so important to us. You are open to share your thoughts on the foregoing but be civil and constructive in your submissions. Thanks and God bless you as you subscribe to our channel for further information.